Right, we're at the police station today with Chief Inspector District Commander Steve Curry. Yeah. Hello, Steve. Good Lovely morning. of you to see us today. Um, we're here today specifically because there's been obviously a lot of um, talk about attempted abductions in Crawley, and we've come here today to speak to you about that and sure. obviously clear the, clear the air for, for the public. Um, now, your position obviously is Chief Inspector. That's a very high position, and you know pretty much everything that's going on in and around Crawley, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm responsible for uh, the delivery policing services in Crawley, uh, and uh, responsible for uh, the Crawley Invest CID investigation department, criminal investigation department in uh, the neighbour policing teams and neighbour response teams. Um, and, and certainly, my key priority uh, for uh, policing Crawley in Crawley is keeping people safe, um, and, and that includes children, uh, and, and making sure that we take uh, all the steps we possibly can um, when we have allegations um, where children are targeted, to make sure that uh, we deploy all of our resources to investigate thoroughly to determine exactly what's going on. Yeah. And, and certainly I've uh, become aware uh, that uh, since the 18th of September, there have been five uh, incidents um, which uh, we have had a detective inspector investigating each one of those incidents, trying to determine what exactly happened, you know, are these sinister instances where criminal offences have taken place? What we have um, concluded at this time is that there are no links uh, between them, uh, and also that no criminal offences have taken place. And that doesn't detract in any way that those involved um, uh, have clearly been alarmed by uh, the occurrences as, as they've uh, unfolded. Um, and, and, and certainly yesterday I became aware of the fact that there was a group of mothers from Bubush uh, who uh, were very concerned, uh, clearly needed reassurance and had started a Facebook um, uh, page with a view to organising uh, a, a march to Crawley Police Station uh, this coming Friday. Mm -hmm. um, what I can tell you is that uh, we've been speaking to those mums this morning, we had a meeting at the police station, um, and we have given them uh, a quite an in-depth briefing as to all of the measures that we've taken from uh, a CID perspective, investigating each one of those uh, uh, incidents meticulously, uh, and also from a neighbourhood policing perspective to, to look at the broad package of measures that we're doing to provide reassurance. And what I can say is that uh, the perception of those mums is different from when they actually first arrived at the police station. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a lot of work that we have to do uh, yet, uh, and, and certainly um, from my perspective, keeping children safe is not just about keeping immediate harm, it's also about actually making sure that we have the measures in place to reduce the fear of crime they might be feeling. And they're certainly aware that um, there is uh, an enhanced feeling, uh, fear of crime at the moment in mm. Crawley. Mm. Um, we're going to be working very closely uh, with uh, our colleagues in schools to make sure that all appropriate measures um, and communicating key messages uh, 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 are done and uh, ensure that people have that balance between what has actually happened and, and, and actually the, the sort of current reality. Yeah. Um, you know, we recognise, you know, I've, as a police officer of 17 years, I recognise the inherent risks that exist. Uh, and I've seen tragedies in, in my policing career, and that's always in the back of my mind about what can we do, what more can we do to make sure that every single thing that could be done to keep children safe, keep people safe in our communities is done. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, what I would say uh, to your uh, listeners is that, you know, uh, please be reassured that we take these matters very, very seriously and will continue to do so. Mm -hmm. If somebody actually contacts us in the next few days or next week with similar concern, we will actually uh, robustly investigate that uh, to, to determine exactly what's happened uh, and actually get to the bottom of it. And clearly, if somebody has committed an offence, and we haven't had that yet, but if they do, then, and then we'll be taking the measures uh, to, to bring the full force of the criminal justice system down on that individual. I mean, obviously, parents, uh, on that note, parents should be vigilant anyway. Yes. We're all vigilant as parents. I'm a parent of three. And, you know, to be vigilant and aware of potential dangers out there and making our children aware. Yes. Obviously, informing and educating the children of the potential hazards. And the schools are very um, involved with you know, sh not going up to strangers and so on, that they are taught that, but it's just reiterating and making them feel safer that, that the community and the police force are 
you are hearing what people are saying and taking note and acting on it, which you are currently doing, aren't you? I think that's a really important point, Shelley, that, that, that we do uh, need to do all that we possibly can to um, raise children's awareness um, of the dangers that exist and, and clearly with uh, the, the sort of curriculum work in the schools with our neighbour schools officers mm -hmm. around stranger danger that's actually something that's an ongoing piece of work that that uh, is, is really important um, and and you know it is important as well for parents to understand you know um, that uh, you know there is a, a degree of vulnerability with young people in communities but it's striking that balance uh, and, and at the moment you know my assessment would be that actually we've got a, 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 a sort of enhanced fear of crime that actually isn't based on, 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 on reality and that's what we have to adjust. I'm all for um, you know making sure that you know all sort of good steps that can be taken are taken that's absolutely absolutely vital um, but what I wouldn't want is uh, uh, children worrying unnecessarily, yeah. um, being frightened to go out, being frightened perhaps to go out at dark to meet friends uh, and, and to, to, to engage in, in sort of meaningful uh, activities and, and, and actually uh, um, suffer as a result of that. And, and, and that's, that's what we have to address. Um, but, but first and foremost, as I say, my priority it's about keeping children safe, keeping people safe in our communities and crawling. Sure. I mean, obviously, we're here today specifically because I, we we heard the community feeling yes. that they weren't being heard. We we heard that you know we, we felt that from them on our Facebook page and obviously directly to us as well. A few of them have emailed us with their concerns. And your message today to the crawling community and beyond is: we are hearing you. Absolutely. We are listening. We do know about the situations. Currently, they're not linked. You're stating they're not actually right. linked, as far as you're aware, yeah. um, and that children should just be aware, full stop, anyway. And that's pretty much the message at the moment, isn't it? It is indeed. And, and, and as I say, we will continue uh, to investigate thoroughly any concerns that people have, yeah. um, uh, and uh, with a view of, of, of maximising the safety of, of all of the children in Crawley. Sure. And, and it, you know, it, but it is you know, a, a key concern that I have this morning, and I certainly expressed it uh, to the mums that were kind enough to come in and, and, and have a meeting mm -hmm. uh, with me and my colleagues, is that you know, we do have to consider the impact on the fear of crime that young people are feeling um, and, and actually take you know, measures there to, to, to redress that. And, and, and certainly, you know, I'm pleased to say that um, in terms of having the concerns listened to, those uh, mums have, uh, uh, you know, accepted the fact that they won't be having a, a public march to the police station as far as they're concerned, all the things they wanted to achieve by that they have achieved, mm -hmm. um, and, and certainly they're being reassured, and, and, and we'll be working closely with them um, in terms of actually getting the appropriate messages out to as many people as we possibly can, sure. so that actually other people are reassured uh, as to what has happened, what the policing response has been, uh, and actually what our intentions are for the future. Your advice to anybody that may see, hear something maybe unsuitable, maybe a little bit you know, a little bit iffy on the streets, maybe a, a car or somebody shouting at a child or something like that, should be quite clear and present about what actually happened so they can then report it to yourself, rather than getting fearful and thinking that something may be happening that, that may not actually be happening in the first place. Yes. I think that's quite um, important to point out, is that these incidents aren't necessarily related at the moment. There are some incidents that have been quite... Um, how do you say, disruptive, quite fearful to young Concerning. individuals at yes. the moment. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we're not saying that there isn't something that may be occurring, we're just saying to make sure that you're clear and present in what you report to to the police uh, when it comes down to it. Absolutely. You know, there's there's there's, it's quite clear to me that in, in each of the instances that have been reported to us, somebody's been alarmed, somebody's been distressed, somebody's been concerned, and, and, and it's absolutely proper that uh, those have been brought to the attention of Sussex Police for us to, to, to investigate. And I would certainly um, ask anybody that you know if they have concerns around public safety, they've seen something you know uh, uh, that has caused them uh, concern alarm. That, you know they, they must bring that to our attention so that sure. that we can actually look at that. Um, and you I know, can call you on the. Oh, yes, 0845 uh, 60 70 999 yes. uh, and uh, uh, quoting serial 515 the 25th of September and, and I think it you know as I say it, it is about reassuring people that you know we have 
uh, spent a great deal of time, mm -hmm. quite rightfully, looking at each of those incidents for that common thread, something that would actually take us further forwards in terms of actually is there increased risk to children and we haven't found that and I think you know we have to actually have a balanced viewpoint uh, in respect of that and, and try and address the, the enhanced fear of crime that, that young people and, and some parents are, are feeling and crawling. Sure, well I, personally I have all faith in the police force and okay. I am 100% certain that if there is any real present clear danger to any of us uh, then we'll be notified Indeed. and of course we we're, we're going to keep in touch as well so that if uh, any of our Facebook or readers to our site have any real major worries, they can always come through us and we can check with yourselves and, and reassure them Absolutely. that it's not about scaremongering or gossiping or ad-libbing to the story or anything. It's, it really is about making sure that it's, like I say, it's very clear, reported to the police, and then obviously the feedback from yourselves will then then go towards helping them feel reassured and safe within the community. Indeed. Yeah, that's lovely. Well, I'd like to thank you thank very, you very much, much, sir. Thank, thank you, you very Shay. much. Thank you for coming thank in. Thank you.